I'm Dean Huppert and this is The Coach's Show with Keith Kinder. It's sponsored by Southwest Michigan College. And man, you've had an exciting month. A lot of things going on, going back to August 3rd when Notre Dame was playing out here on the stadium. Yeah, that was a really neat experience for our kids. You know, it, really our entire program, just the, the opportunity to see how a first class program operates. Um, it was really neat because we've tried to kind of emulate the way that they practice. So I think it was neat for our kids to see you know the timer on the on the scoreboard and the transitions and and the energy in practice and and so I, I think we got a lot out of it. I asked our kids to stay for an hour minimum and most of them stayed for the entire time. Yeah. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. When you talk about that, just timing, the seriousness of practice, all those things lead into the scrimmage and then the organization going into the Marion game. Talk about that. Just did you feel prepared going into game one? Well, I, I don't know that yet. I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I felt like we had had really good practices. I thought we had covered, you know, the biggest fear is, you know, did you cover everything on your checklist? You know, we've got a checklist of things that we got to make sure that we that we cover before we play. Um, and we felt good that we had at least introduced everything, but you, you still never know how they're going to react at, at seven o'clock on the first Friday. So uh, I thought we did a really good job uh, of being prepared. And, and I really thought that, that the things that we had focused on in the preseason had kind of, we could show video evidence of where our focus was, I think. You could watch our game and say, yeah, they clearly focused on special teams and coverages. They, they clearly focused on trying to, to force fumbles. Uh, they focused on the middle eight minutes of the game because they they manufactured really good possession at the end of the first half and they ended up winning the middle eight 10 to zero. So I think that those things are what I was most proud of. Yeah, that quick change, I know you focus on that and you worked it to perfection. It's all about adjustment sometimes and you had to do that in the pregame. All of a sudden you've got a speech, you're ready to roar in there and somebody upstaged you a little bit beforehand, but you were okay with that. Yeah, it was really neat. You know, I, I typically spend the few minutes before I go talk to our team uh, in the in the locker room area of the coach's office, I'm just trying to collect my thoughts and you know, uh, I had no idea that Sam was going to go in there. Uh, I had no idea what was going on. It was just really loud in the locker room, and uh, and then it turned into a really cool moment. Um, and I honestly didn't know. I, I thought about just saying, well, let's just go play. Like, uh, we were in the right mindset, but uh, it, it was a really neat moment. But the coolest part was that it was completely unscripted. He, he asked no one. No one told him to do it. He just he felt the urge to go do it, and he did it. Now you play a team you haven't played since 2019. Everybody knows it's a big rivalry game. It's a non-conference game. It's on the road. This is a game you can learn from about your team and, and learn a lot about going into the rest of the season. Yeah, I think the biggest the biggest reason for wanting to play this game is, is what you just said the uh, the quality opponent. Uh, you know, well coached. Uh, in this case, we're on the road. All of those things are going to prepare us for the conference and and the tournament. You know. Other than that, you know, the community can get excited about that stuff. But, you know, I've told everybody that's asked, you know, we, we honestly haven't we haven't talked about Penn since 2019 because there's been no reason to. And we're going to talk about Penn for exactly one week this year, and then we're going to move on to, in this case, Northridge. So um, I know our kids are excited to play. I know the community's excited about the game. But really for us, it's an opportunity to get better against a really good team. And you're going to have to deal with the elements this week. Uh, it's going to be hot. Uh, how do you make those adjustments just to keep your team ready for a game that's probably going to be warm out, but at the same time keep everybody safe? Well, we, we kind of got creative with our schedule. Um, you know, Thursday it looks like we're not going to be able to be outside, so uh, we, we kind of jumbled up our week. The, the good thing about the weather is, you know, they're three miles away, so they're dealing with the same challenges, you know. So um, it's really about just making sure that you make most of the time that you have together. Uh, whether or not it's on the field, in the classroom, on the gym floor, you know, just making sure that we can mentally prepare them. Yeah, and finally, what do you want people to know about your team? You've seen these guys in practice. You saw them in a game now. What do you want people to know that, that is positive about Mishawaka football? Well, I think they're steady. You know, I, I, I think it's a group that, that, that kind of has mirrored the leadership, you know, the leadership being our captains that are just kind of even keeled cool cucumbers not really riled up and and I think that that's been the, the case for our group you know we had some adversity last Friday and I thought we responded very well uh, to every instance of adversity in fact we followed up all that adversity with really good plays you know we for example 
you know, we we jump off sides on a fourth and eight, they convert a fourth down, and two plays later we force a turnover. You know, those kinds of things where, you know, we're not beating each other up about mistakes. We're, we're picking each other up and, and we're making plays to, to overcome those. So uh, I'm excited to see how we, you know, behave and react in an environment like Friday night against a really good team and when things are going to go bad for us because things are going to go bad on Friday because they're too good for them not to. So uh, I'm excited to see how we react to that stuff. All right. Well, I said it in the in the Sam story, but Mishawaka football, it's special. And you've started off with a special year here, so hopefully we can keep it rolling. Yeah, thank you. All right. That's Keith Kinder, the head coach of the Mishawaka Cavemen. This has been the Coaches Show presented by Southwestern Michigan College.